A big pink bus comes to Selma, garbage customers prepare for changes, and the Enterprise lands at Selma Marina. That and more in this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight, Selma Dallas County's only local newscast. I'm Cindy Fisher, publisher of the Selma Sun. And I'm Todd Prater, staff writer for the Selma Sun. Here's this week's top stories. The Joy is Our Journey bus tour brought a giant pink bus and a three-hour empowerment event to Selma High School on September 9th. The Joy team, which is led by Selma High alumni Latasha Brown and Chauncey Lundy, spoke to hundreds of girls who attended from schools across Selma and Dallas County. Brown and Lundy founded Southern Black Girls and Women's Consortium with Felicia Lucky of Black Belt Community Foundation and Alice Jenkins of Fund for Southern Communities. Mm. They started Southern Black Girls in 2018 when they heard the statistic that $4 billion is invested in the South, but less than 1% of those resources reach black women. They plan to raise $100 million over 10 years to go towards Southern Black Girl growth. The tour made stops in Camden, Livingston, Jackson, Mississippi, and at Texas Southern University in Houston, and it ended this weekend in Birmingham. Wow. Changes are coming for garbage customers, business owners, and property owners in Selma. Last year, the city required all property owners to pay for garbage pickup, but you can be exempt from the mandatory fees for garbage service if you can show that the family's income is derived solely from Social Security. The City of Selma will open its annual garbage ex exemption program October 1st and it runs through December 29th. To be exempt from the fees, you must be a property owner, Social Security must be your sole source of income, and you must live within the city limits or the police ju jurisdiction. You can apply on the City of Selma website at selma-al.gov or just go by the Tax and License Office at City Hall. Dallas County Schools leaders welcomed state officials at Southside High School this week to announce their selection in a five-year pilot program with the State Department of Education. Dallas County Schools is one of 33 districts in the state chosen to serve as a cohort of the multi-tiered student support program that works to improve learning by supporting students academically and providing behavioral support and foundational wellness like nutrition and mental health. As part of the program, each Dallas County School will work with the State Department of Ed leaders to get the community involved and engaged and to make the school environment safe for learning and formulate strategies based on evidence and data collected within each school. The Enterprise was at the Selma Marina September 8th and 9th. Now, it wasn't the aircraft carrier and it certainly was not the starship. Although it was helping the marina to live long and prosper, it was the dredge boat sent to open the mouth of the marina. Alabama Rivers and Lakes Site Manager Frank McIntosh says that this is part of an ongoing dredging project under a small boat access channel permit, which allows for dredging at the mouths of some of the creeks and sloughs around, along the Alabama River. He says it's been well over 30 years since dredging like this has been done, but he did reiterate that this is not part of the marina construction and refurbishment that's scheduled to start in October. The Enterprise beamed up silt and channels at Roland Cooper State Park and around Bridgeport Landing also. Nanu Nanu. You actually wrote it that way? Yeah. <laughs> do you remember Nanu Nanu? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though. Like that. Nanu Nanu. Oh, my God. <laughs> Drug-free <laughs> communities of Dallas mm. County held their annual thank you banquet Wednesday, September 14th. It was in the Selma High School Media Center. Uh, DFC head Drea Martin says that she wants to thank supporters most of whom have been there since she started seven years ago. It's been seven years. Mm -hmm. Business and community leaders from all over the county were there. Uh, we'll have more details in next week's Selma Sun. Awesome. I wish I could have made that. I wish you had been there. It was a great time. And, of course, Jerea is a wonderful. I love her. I, love I know. We're doing. very supportive of that program. Yeah. I'm even on their billboard. I saw that. I love <laughs> it. That's so cool. I know. The one on Highland Avenue. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. That is neat. Okay, so the Black Belt Community Foundation and the Chamber of Commerce are working together to get a Levitt Foundation oh. grant to bring concerts and entertainment to Selma. But you have to go to their website and vote. Go to vote.levitt.org and scroll down until you see Black Belt Community Foundation in Selma and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight. <laughs> Read these stories and more at SelmaSun.com and follow and subscribe to us at our YouTube channel and on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. See you next week, Nanu Nanu.
it's a story all about how Selma got turned to a drug free town Just sit back, relax, and listen to me I'ma introduce you to our DFC Mayor Perk on the mic here Trying hard to make myself clear Deal and hope is what I do here Deal better sell but make myself clear Running this beat up in your ear Can we do better make myself clear Make no mistake I'm up in your ear Doing drugs a bad idea Better together yes make myself clear Better together yes make myself clear Better together yes make myself clear Doing drugs not up in here Better together yes make myself clear Better together yes Make myself clear Better together, yes Make myself clear Doing drugs, bad idea Jimmy Nunn here representing the county There's none like Jimmy with my crew around me Probate judge, standing for what's right Getting rid of drugs and changing lives Yo, it's a snowman, you know what it do I'm out here keeping Sam a clean dress for you I stay away from drugs and I keep my body clean Because don't let them come to a sleeper but a dream Choose chestnut, you know I love the youth I'm a woman of God, so I tell the truth No matter the deal or situation Be drug free and get an education I'm Amy Carmichael, I'm blessed like you I've overcome drugs and you can too Now I have a family and an awesome job Didn't do it by myself, I give the glory to God Go you, stay drug free like me All my parents, drug free like me Businesses Drug-free like me, go churches, they drug-free like me, city leaders, drug-free like me, all the officers, drug-free like me, healthcare, drug-free like me, everybody, drug-free. Free, drug-free, get like me, D.A. Michael Jack, rockin' the beat, better listen as I reach out to you, cause if you're caught with drugs, I'ma prosecute, that's what I said, prosecute. Sheriff Grantham, yes, I'm drug free You'll be successful if you listen to me Kids don't do drugs, weed or alcohol Wanna get rid of them, just give me a call I'm Chief Fulford and we on the same page You can get locked up no matter your age Yo, David McCormick will show you the way Drug free, hope dealers, we're here to stay That's a great son here, I teach this lesson Your body is a temple, it's a blessing I'm Pastor Burton and I agree If you wanna be successful, get like me Go you, stay drug free Free like me, all my parents, drug free like me, businesses, drug free like me, go churches, they drug free like me, city leaders, drug free like me, all the officers, drug free like me, healthcare, drug free like me, everybody, drug free. Welcome. I'm Kishe Dozier Smith, CEO of the Rural Health Medical Program. The Rural Health Medical Program has been a beacon in the state of Alabama for over 40 plus years. We are one of 17 community health centers across the state. We sit across six counties in the Black Belt region of Alabama. We provide preventative and primary health care services to all individuals, regardless of their ability to pay, insured, uninsured, Rural Health provides a way for individuals to receive quality and affordable health care services. Over these 40 years, the Rural Health Medical Program has touched over 10,000 patients consistently in its history in providing affordable and primary health care services. Our organization also calls on leaders in the communities that we serve to join our voluntary board to lead and guide um, myself as the CEO and the other administrative leaders on how do we meet the needs of individuals in the community. It is through their leadership, their advocacy, that we're able to continue to meet the needs of the community members across the Black Belt region of Alabama. After about 10 years of working at the local uh, hospital, I felt that it was time for a change. So rural health to me was just kind of a natural progression. 
Um, I feel like it's a calling and that God has placed me here. He answered a prayer when he brought me here. And I am so tremendously blessed and just extremely grateful for the opportunity to work with such a great group of people. Coming from Nigeria, from a place with also um, limited resources, I came over to Selma and realized that um, there, there's that need for that help and um, services here as well. And if we can do, and that we can do more even with the limited resources available in Selma. For more information on how you can become a member of our team or to receive services from the Rural Health Medical Program, give us a call at 844-736-7629 or follow us on social media or visit our website at www.rhmpi.com. Thank you.